Gian Lorenzo Benini, or also named Giovanni Lorenzo, is a Baroque sculptor and he sculpted Neptune and Triton from 1622 to 1623, which is made out of marble and copper with a height of 102 centimeters or 72 inches. Benini sculpted this in his early 20s in Italy. This sculpture can be found in Victoria Albert Museum, London. The sculpture was commissioned by the Cardinal Peretti Montalto, serving as a fountain to decorate the pond in the garden of his Villa Peretti Montalto on his Esquin Hill in Rome. It was purchased by the English man Thomas Jenkins in 1786, from whom it was later purchased that year by the painter Joshua Reynolds. The sculpture depicts two life-size figures where one of them is Neptune, standing with his triton, very firm in his hands. He is wearing a cloak that shows movement from the wind, as well as movement in his hair and beard that makes him look older. The other figure is Triton, who is merging through the waters, blowing on his conch shell while his hair still seems wet. He has fin-like legs and looks younger. Neptune and Triton's stance shows that they are commanding and dominant over the waters of the sea while riding a shell. Their stance and expression also gives a sign of power and effort. Birini intended to show the energetic movement of the muscular figures by twisting their bodies in opposition to each other. The figures Neptune and Triton were sculpted out of marble and the Triton was sculpted out of copper, but the Triton was later replaced by a wooden copy. Birini sculpted this from the mythological characters Neptune, or also known as Poseidon, and his son Triton, who are the rulers of the sea. According to the article Neptune and Triton by Gian Lorenzo Birini by Victoria and Albert Museum, write that Joshua Reynolds thought that Pirini had taken the story of Neptune and Triton from a famous episode in Virgil's Aeneid in which they come seas to save the Trojan fleet. But this passage names two gods as accompanying Neptune, who is described as riding on a chariot. They continue writing that in Novus Morphosis is another story involving Neptune and Triton. Jupiter vowed in anger to destroy life on Earth and called Neptune to create a flood. Neptune struck the earth with his trident and released the dolge. When the destruction was complete, Neptune laid his trident down and called Triton to blow on his conch shell as a signal for the waters to decide. Regardless of the stories, there is no doubt that this culture is widely successful. The Fontana di Quattro Fiumi, which translates to the Fountain of the Four Rivers, is an architectural masterpiece created by Gian Lorenzo Bernini in 1650. The fountain is located in the Piazza Navona in Rome, Italy. It was commissioned by Pope Innocent X after a giant Egyptian-style obelisk was brought to Rome. The obelisk is this giant square pillar in the middle of the fountain. The obelisk was to be placed in the Piazza Navona across from Pope Innocent's family palace, Palazzo Famfili. The book Hermetism and Art, Emblem and Allegory in the work of Bernini mentions that when Pope Innocent saw the fountain for the first time, he stated that it brought great joy to his life and it added 10 years to his life. Bernini was originally not considered for the project, but after Pope Innocent saw a model of the fountain, he was persuaded due to Bernini's immense talent and decided to give him the commission. The fountain is in a circular design with four male figures that each face a different direction. The four godly male figures each represent a different river, the Nile, the Ganges, the Danube, and the Rio de la Plata. According to the website Artable, the figure that represents the Nile River from Africa has his head covered representing how the source of the river was unknown at the time. This figure also represents how Africa had not yet discovered Christianity, which is why the figure's head is covered. The figure that represents the Ganges River from Asia is seen looking away from the sky, which represents the fact that Christianity was rejected in Asia. The figure that represents the Danube River from Europe is seen touching the papal coat of arms on the fountain, which represents the embrace of Christianity in Europe. The figure that represents the Rio de la Plata from America has his arms up in surprise and is facing upwards, signifying how America was recently discovered and it is beginning to embrace Christianity. The figures are very muscular and lifelike, as is the style of Bernini. They are sitting on rocks and each have a fountain of water coming out from under them. 
There are animals hidden all throughout the fountain, most notably a horse and a lion in the center under the obelisk. At the top of the obelisk is a dove symbolizing the Catholic Church and the Pamphili family. Overall, this is a beautiful fountain that greatly exemplifies Bernini's sculptural talent and his ability to give meaning to pieces of stone.